It's Chris Gilmore. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Chris Gilmore On Demand. And today's podcast is all about what to focus on. So let's get straight into it. Everything in life is easier when you don't concern yourself with what everybody else is doing. Now, growing up motor racing, which is a very competitive sport, to now my real estate career, I have spent my entire life competing against other people, whether it's for the win on the racetrack or winning a listing presentation against another real estate agent. But along the way, I've learned some very, very valuable lessons. So how do you stop comparing yourself with others? The biggest epidemic of our current generation, we hear this more and more. The crazy thing is winners focus on winning and losers focus on winners. We live in a world where we feel we're in competition with each other. We fixate on how everyone else is performing. We fixate on how everyone else is talking and moving. The more time and energy we focus on everyone else, the less time we have to focus on ourselves. In order of being happy and living a meaningful life is stop comparing yourself with where you are with your life. Remember, people may look like they have it all, but generally it's just a front. People compare where they are with their careers, their personal lives, People even use their kids to compare where they may stand in the social ladder. But you need to remember games, matches, contests. They're decided in a matter of seconds, even milliseconds. A moment's indecisions or slight hesitation can be the difference between winning, losing, living or dying. And that moment's indecision is usually a comparative thought. Is someone getting faster? Is someone working harder? Is someone getting better? Is someone going to take my place? And why do we focus on others? We focus on others because we don't realize that the only major performance metric is how we see others. You can't change whether someone is ahead or behind you by focusing on them. You can only change it by focusing on your own process. When I was eight years old, I was given advice by a very famous Australian sportsman that do not worry about what the competition is doing. Come race day, the bullshit stops. And those words have carried with me 30 years later in everything I do in sport, business, and in my personal life. But we have to start with ourselves. We have to stop making excuses. We have to stop letting in distractions. We have to stop getting unfocused. We have to stop becoming confused and we have to stop blaming other people. It's time that we have to start taking our own responsibility. We have to stop relying on pure talent to just get by. Remember, hard work beats talent every time talent doesn't work hard. The most talented people are beaten by those with resilience and determination. The most incredibly gifted people are beaten by those with energy and passion. For winners, competition makes them better. And for losers, competition makes them bitter. Better or bitter, the choice is ours. It's when we try to be better than we were yesterday, we grow. It's when we try to be better than others, we slow down. Why do we compare ourselves with others? No one in the entire world can do a better job of being you than you. The truth is, everyone wants to win, but few want to prepare. Few want to put in the work that it truly takes. Few want to really love the process. Most of us are just addicted and obsessed with the result or what we want. Whether you are in life with whatever you're doing, you're going to be ahead of someone and behind others. That's okay. Own where you are. Take time to embrace and celebrate that and continue moving forward and never compare your beginning to someone else's middle. What you need to understand is very simple. The magic is in the day to day. The magic is in the work. The magic is in the practice. The magic is in the moment when we become the winner before we've even won.